Hello and welcome to Breakfast All Day. I'm Matt here with Christy and Alonzo. There is another, yet another Meryl Streep movie <laughs> uh, that is out and they're going to tell you about it because it's also another movie I didn't see. So uh, I'll see you guys later. It's Streep a Palooza. You can't Woo! leave now. All Meryl all the time. I, I would like that. Um, so this movie is called Let Them All Talk and this is yeah, another Steven Soderbergh experiment. One thing that's very exciting about him is that he will, he'll play with structure and form and technology. And sometimes he'll do it with like the world's most celebrated actress on a cruise ship. <laughs> <laughs> and Why that's not? what's improvised. And that's what this is. Um, so this is like 80% improvised. I saw a thing that Diane Weist and Candace Bergen did with... Um, with Andy Cohen hmm. talking about there was a structure, but they had to hit certain things with certain points along the way. But the dialogue is um, is them playing, and Diane Weiss was like, "I would like to never have a script again." Like it was <laughs> that it was that liberating for her, and it really shows in the ease with which these women all converse with each other. So Meryl Streep is this very celebrated author, whose best known book. You always, you never has mm. been adapted into a miniseries and a film, and it's um I think it won or did it win or the Pulitzer? Yeah, I want to say so. It's a, it's a very very famous and important piece of American literature, um and nothing she's ever done has matched it in terms of success, um but she is working on something. Her agent, played by Gemma Chan, is pestering her for news on what are you working on? What are you writing? Is it a sequel to that book? Um. And also coordinating with her because she's being given some very prestigious and rare award in London, but she hates to fly. And so um, Gemma Chan arranges for her to take a cruise on the Queen Mary 2, but she wants to bring along her two best friends from college who she's been you know, friends with for like 50 years, as well as her nephew played by Lucas Hedges. So you have Meryl Streep, Diane Weist, Candace Bergen, Lucas Hedges, and then Gemma Chan sneaks on the boat <laughs> to keep tabs on, on Meryl. Things, so. um, and they all actually shot this while on a transatlantic cruise. No. <laughs> <laughs> with with Soderbergh again serving as DP as he always does. Yes. Memo and and editor uh, both pseudonymously. Yes. Memo to Adam Sandler: You can squeeze a free vacation out of a production and still make a good movie. And make a good movie when the <laughs> writing is there. Yes, and when the talent is there. Yeah. So it's about how they reconnect. You can feel there's a bit of a chilliness and an estrangement. Um, Diane Weiss character and Candace Bergens are, are very close. And there's a sort of a lovely running bit where they're sitting at a table by a window um, playing various board games <laughs> yeah. and working through their past and revealing secrets to each other. And, and Candace Bergen has just this fantastic deadpan the <laughs> whole way through. She lives in Dallas and she's working at a lingerie store. I'm she's saying. got very Dallas hair in this movie too. So Dallas and like the fringy <laughs> denim shirts, like they yes. really had fun dressing her for this. Yeah. Um, but, you know, they have dinner together every night and it's very awkward. Meanwhile, Lucas Hedges is um, kind of getting a crush on Gemma Chan. And right. then there's this whole other author on the boat who's sort of like a Dean Koontz kind of like airport trashy novel machine. Yeah. And uh, it's, it's a lark. It's really, it's, it's gentle and it's playful and it feels kind of just like a lark. And then eventually some, some more significant emotions do creep in. And I think that just the quality of the acting on display, you can't have this level of talent and no. have something frivolous emerge. So um, I, I enjoyed it. It's pleasant. I think I think my you might be short selling it a little because okay. there are some there are some ideas here like there, there's there's a whole you you this isn't really spoiling too much I don't think but uh, you come to understand that there there I'll just say there's a certain level of resentment between Candace Berg and Meryl right. Streep uh, having to do with the the responsibility that an artist has towards their muses, you know, that I think is handled in an interesting way. I was reminded of Ingmar Bergman's Wild Strawberries <laughs> because it's about this sort of older academic traveling to win an award and being forced to kind of confront stuff from their past. So I thought that was interesting. Um, I, you know, I, I like the idea of Streep's character 
part of it being this kind of created persona mm-hmm. and how when you when when somebody like that is with their old friends they're like when did you start talking like this? Right. Like, what they're gonna call you-, you on your bullshit. Yeah, like, what are you even doing right now? Who is this? <laughs> who is this person? I don't know who this person is. You know, the the whole thing with the other author. There's oh god, when Meryl Streep asked him, so how long does it take to write one of your novels? Like the the pause <laughs> is just right. Like it's just long enough not to be impolite, but just long enough to be condescending. It's just well, like also her like answer. That. Her answer when she tells him, you know, when he tells her how long it takes, her answer yeah. to that is exquisite as well. Yes, in yes. the in the passive aggressive bitchiness of it. No, I mean the acting is superb and like the timing is superb. There's an incredible scene where it's just Candace Bergen and Meryl Streep sitting in a hotel room just talking. Mm. that you will hold your breath watching because yes. you know it's been it's leading just, up to it it's so know. quietly powerful and and like there's just such authenticity to it and there's just to watch two you know titans like that performing opposite one another is just a real joy um I- I like the film's acknowledgement that the world of literature is such a rarefied place anyway. Like Lucas Hedges' friends have no idea <laughs> who Meryl Streep is, even though like she's written this book that he says it's been a movie and a miniseries. But then he doesn't know who like the big famous author on board is either. So like yeah. the idea of like who even reads anymore and like what, what you know, how much is that embraced by the culture at large, I think is kind of a, a, a recurring thing as well. And what constitutes art, right? Because the Diane Weiss character takes all the trashy novels really seriously and it's like mm. she's super nervous that that guy is there which Meryl <laughs> Streep is like uh yeah and, and Meryl Streep meanwhile is like championing this sort of obscure British or Welsh author Welsh, that, Welsh <laughs> author that she's making them read and like Diane Weiss is sort of trying to get through it and Candace Burke and like can't be bothered you know yeah I, I think there's a lot happening here it is not as great as High Flying Bird, I think, in terms mm. of his his movies that are done kind of on the fly. But I think it is uh, has as many interesting ideas about like fame and celebrity and about the culture and about a lot of other things like that that I, I think are, work really well. Um, I, uh, I and it's a million times better than The Laundromat, which I never saw. We oh. never reviewed it. It, eh, it's a, it's it's, a Meryl Soderbergh film. Also a Meryl Soderbergh film. Big, big letdown for me. I think it doesn't work at all. So, yeah. I, I, I enjoyed I, this. No, I, I did. Yeah. I'm, I'm saying 7.5. Like, I, I liked it. Um, it just, uh, it, it sneaks up on you. In, in, in the sure. gentle banter, it has these moments of like, oh, there is more going on here. Yeah, it, it, it definitely, it, it, it comes to reveal itself. I forget what my number is. It's an 8.5. <laughs> 8.5. Okay. Uh, standing so by it. So eight, eight is our us. number. Yes, it is. Uh, Let Them All Talk is currently streaming on HBO Max. Thank you for watching. Like this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow us at BeFast All Day on uh, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. And check out our Patreon page at patreon.com slash Day. We are recapping The Mandalorian and The Queen's Gambit. And we have a runoff for our December off-the-menu classic. We're down to two uh, beloved Christmas movies, uh, uh, the original Black Christmas. And it happened on Fifth Avenue. So if you are uh, a subscriber at the right level you can decide which one we're going to look at so check that out anyway thanks you guys for watching we'll see you next time bye